Okay, my friends, we time to go. How you doing today? All right, my friends. How you doing today? I was 18 years old. I was living in Texas and I wasn't making very much money. I joined the Marine Corps thinking I'd make a lot of money. And I went to $79 a month in the Marine Corps. And that was a lot of money in them days. And uh, I enjoyed it, so I just stayed. Oh, how y'all doing today? One of, one of my most memorable moments was uh, joining the Marine Corps boxing team. I figured I wanted to join the tough, and that was really tough, and I joined and I won the championship in 1962. When you fight for the Marines, you fight some of the toughest guys in the world to fight Marines. And the Navy and four East guys, you fight some tough guys. And you, when you do that, you've been in there, you've fought the best. I love the fight, and I enjoy fighting. And that stuck with me all my career, just like to fight, you know. Like I'm old as I am now, I still like to fight. So I never wanted to turn pro. I just wanted to stay in the Marine Corps. And I figured I had a good shot on staying in the Marine Corps and being the best. And my next shot was being a coach. If I can coach the Marine Corps team, I think I've been to the top. And I've had the fortune to coach Camp Pendleton, all Marine Corps teams, and the service teams, and work along with Coach Roosevelt Sanders, Coach Leon Spinks, and quite a few world champions. I just wanted to show the guys what I know. And if you fought for me, you had to be the best. And so I had in good shape. If you do what I say, you're going to be successful. If you do anything else different, you wasn't going to make it because I've been there. I know what the ring was all about. It's an individual sport. When you get in that ring, that bell ring, you had nobody help you but yourself. If you couldn't remember what your coach told you, you just in a jungle. You had to remember things that you were taught in the gym and you took it in the fighting through. Great Navy waiting, right? When you guys leaving? Well, actually, when I got out of service, I wanted to get something that I could just be around the Marines like, and so I got here now. I'm not getting rich here, but I enjoy working with the Marines every day. I guess. Everybody knows that he does he does boxing, and every year he always put his pictures like, you know, like display here in our building. I do every February every year. I put up a big poster board, let all the Marines see that, and they really get excited when I put all my posters up. And they say, Mr. Carter, you did all of that? Yeah, it was nothing to do it, you know. Well, yeah, I had a lot of fun doing it, and they enjoy watching it. <laughs> Mr. Carter is the one that brings everybody here. He makes everybody happy. Every customers, I mean, all the people that come in this building. Mr. Carter, whenever I come in, no matter how early it is, whether the sun is shining, it's dark outside, he's always there to greet me at the chow hall. Um, and every Marine that comes through, he's always an inspiration to us all. Um, he always has his um, motivational music going on in the, in the background, and that, that keeps us going. Oh, yes, I speak to everybody. Hey, how you doing? How you doing there? You know, just, it makes my day. You know. I found this very easy. I don't think I can come to work if I didn't speak to guys and talk to guys. I, I wouldn't be happy. I gotta say, hey, good morning. How you doing there? How you feel? Something like that. Thank you very much. You need to carry out. You need to carry out or going to here. Okay, my friend, you have a good day now. Thank you very much, my friend. Enjoy your meal.